We'll be looking at hammer on and pull-offs. What are the benefits of practicing hammer on and pull-offs? How exactly to practice hammer on and pull-offs? Also, towards the end, I'll be showing you a tip on how to play the hammer on and pull-offs on the second string gracefully. Suppose we have a long slide like, or for me, if I'm just playing it using slide, I find it very difficult to be precise. And also, I like the sound of it when I'm dividing the slide using a hammer on in between. For example, here I'm playing 5 8 10 13 slide. The 5 8 10 13 5 to 8 has been made as a slide, then hammer on on the 10 and slide to 13. So, one of them is like to introduce precision, and also because we like the sound of the song, plus it may make you a little bit faster also with the playing. Pull offs, it will help you make the sound uh, give a boost to the sound. So, it's almost like a a half hit like for example the remaining part of this here I didn't hit I just pulled off from here so when you have the pull off uh, um, the technique also in hand you will have a lot of playing freedom for example the Kathalay 96 song we have already put up the video here you can also find it the link below we are able to play that kind of long fills because we are using hammer on pull offs recently I uploaded a song Theremere which me That kind of a movement, that kind of a, a vocal elaboration that is easier to play when you have the hammer on technique correctly. So, to practice hammer on pull offs, hit on, I'm here, I have my index finger on the first string, fifth fret, hit on the first string, fifth fret, hammer on the first string, sixth fret, just as if you are piercing the uh, string with your finger after you hit on the string that sustain should be there the note should sustain that is the test so that is a hammer on in order to do the pull off both the fingers should be on the string and you're pulling with the higher number higher fret number of finger so that the lower fret number fret is the fret note is being sounded so yeah, so even if i'm doing the pull off from here eight to five basically the five is being sounded seven to five also five is being sound 6 to 5 also, it is actually the exact same note when I am doing the pull off. Only on the hammer on, it's, it's uh, opposite. Like if I have the index finger on the 5 and if I am hammering on 6, it is a 6 note which is being sound. 7, 8. Now, whenever you are sitting for practice, just in the beginning or um, maybe 1 minute, 2 minute, just remember to start with the uh, first string. You have your index finger on the first string, 5th fret. Hit on the first string, 5th fret. Hammer on 6. That is the first one. Then the re reverse is pull off so that the fifth fret is sound now you can combine this start with the hit hammer on make sure the sustain is there pull off sustain hammer on sustain then you extend it to the next finger and the next finger that's it so and uh, at the end uh, by the time you are a little bit comfortable with it try this exercise where you hit on the first string fifth fret six hammer on eight hammer on pull off to six Pull off to 5, second string 6 fret. Even without hitting, you will be able to just because of the force of your hammer on, you will be able to play the second string 6 fret. So the exercise will sound like this. If you want more information on this kind of Indian guitar playing methods and techniques and to make your progress faster and surer, Indian guitar beginners, this particular resource is available. It is all available as part of the ragacourses.com resources. So just go to ragacourses.com and see if it is of use for you, get access to the resources there. And when you're doing it on the second string, just one tip here. See, the index finger is actually muting the first string so that even if we accidentally hit the first string, the first string will not sound um, louder than the second string. If you like this video, probably you will like these other videos too. See you in the next videos.